Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and this is Tester Tuesday. So if you're new around here, I used to do a series over on my beauty channel many moons ago called Tester Tuesday, where I would test out new products, first impression, detailed review, close-ups, natural lighting, all through the day, giving you wear tests throughout my day. That has evolved over time, and then I stopped posting dedicated beauty content. I wanted to kind of bring it back to the OG of where Tester Tuesday came from, but in a more mindful consumption kind of way. So I definitely have veered away from that whole trying the new products. Oh, this is my new favorite foundation. Oh, this is my new favorite foundation. No, I stick to what I love and I'm very, very picky, especially since I've reviewed thousands of products at this point. It's very particular with how I like my makeup to look and how I like my products to perform and how I like to look these days. I'm gonna go through products that I actually use and have been using for over a year or at least six months. My skincare's done. If you want a skincare video, I'm happy to do that. Let me know in the comments. Starting off is gonna be this Euphoria pre-game primer. If you follow me on socials or anywhere, you know I have gone through probably like at this point five or six of these primers. I was never a primer person. I never felt like primer did much until I met this product from Euphoria. I first started with their color changing blush oil, which was revolutionary. And then they launched this primer and I was like, well, whatever. But they actually reached out. I was like, hey, you're such a fan. Would you try our new product? And can we send you some stuff? Because I had actually purchased everything beforehand. And I was like, yeah, sure. Because to be honest, I probably wouldn't have bought the primer because I'm not a primer person, like I've said. They sent it to me and I was like, okay, let me test this out. And it has changed my skin. It has changed my routine. It has changed the way makeup sits on me. This primer is like a non-negotiable. I wear it every single day after my SPF. The idea is that it protects your skin from the elements that you're encountering from all of the environmental pollutions. It also helps seal in all of your skincare. It is really great for minimizing redness. Everything just really hydrated and smooth to be able to then go in with your foundations or no foundation because I wear this even when I don't wear foundation. This I've emptied so many times I've lost count. If I'm gonna wear a base, these are kind of my go-to daily bases. Picked cover BB cream from Misha. This was only 12 or 13 dollars. It's beautiful as an SPF 50 how or 42. However, please wear an SPF underneath unless you're planning on using like a shot glass full of this. It's way too much coverage. This gives you great coverage. It's affordable. I like this say slip tint with SPF 35. However, I don't love the scent of it. There is no fragrance added, which is the issue for me. It does eventually dissipate, but it's not a sensorial experience if I'm putting on my makeup in the morning. This is my summer shade three and a half. I actually need to probably get a lighter shade since I'm much paler now. This is the Summer Friday Sheer Skin Tint, which I have been using because I'm trying to use it up before it expires. This is shade four, way too dark for my winter shade. I probably need to be a little bit lighter as well. This is a really lovely skin tint without being overly oily. A lot of skin tints I find are very, very oily, very, very fluid that they almost kind of just like rub off. This does a nice job at making you just look like you're not wearing anything. It reminds me a lot of the Glossier skin tint, but maybe a little bit more emollient. So those are kind of my three rotation ones. The only one that really matches my skin tone right now is the Misha. So I've been wearing that a bit, but I noticed on camera it kind of like looks heavier than I want my makeup to look day to day. If I need to wear like makeup makeup or I want to look my best, I have been using the Euphoria Date Night Foundation. I'm in the shade 245. This is kind of my favorite foundation that can go anywhere from normal natural coverage to full coverage. This is the other one, Chantecai. This is very expensive. This is their Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation in Vanilla. So these are my kind of like rotating, I wanna look my best, I want a little bit more oomph. I'm gonna go in with the Euphoria one so you guys can see what I talk about when I talk about this one. It's a pump, I love it. It's 
got amazing skincare benefits. I use so little now on my face. Like that's all I'm using. If you want more coverage, obviously use more and build it up. If you followed me from my OG beauty guru days, then you know how little makeup I always have worn compared to the rest of the community. And I love that everything has kind of moved more into the more natural, more radiant skin versus that matte, heavy eye makeup, heavy lip, heavy contour. However, I see the benefits of all of it. I just love that there's more diversity in the types of makeup that we're seeing online and in tutorials. It's definitely the most I wear now. And when I go to an event, I just feel more like myself with less makeup. I love a bold lash, and that's why I do DIY lash extensions at home, so I can play around with new lash maps and lash styles. Side of a bolder lash, and making sure my complexion looks like myself but better, I'm good. I also feel like as I've aged, the less makeup I wear, the healthier my skin looks even if it's not doing so well. I don't know if that makes any sense. I think if you're like in your late 30s, 40s, you might know what I'm talking about, how like some products, if you go too much, if you just, if you wear too much powder, too much contour and stuff like that, it just starts to look too heavy and it almost makes your skin look older. The thing I use is very hydrating, very nourishing, very good for my skin when it's the base. Concealer, I have just really been loving this Tower 28 concealer. I'm in the EP shade and this I'll use alone, obviously with my makeup for any areas that I want a little more brightness or coverage, which is just that much. If I don't want to wear a base but I want a little bit of like concealer I'll just use this as well on its own and I'm okay with my dark circles showing I'm okay with uneven skin tone the goal for me isn't to cover everything up the goal for me is to enhance what's going on with my face one of my favorite setting powders is from Jouer it's their soft focus hydrate and set powder this is their radiant one which was limited edition Christina from Jouer just understands skin and what looks good and her powders at Jouer are just some of the best that will never look cakey. They will never look like they're enlarging your pores or sink into your fine lines. Because I do need powder. I'm a little bit oily. So that's all I do for the areas I put concealer. I set it with that Jouer translucent powder. I'm going to go in with my brows. I did get my brows microbladed. I talked about all of that in my best purchases of the past year that has just saved me time that's made my life better all about my microblading experience and why I chose to finally do it and my expectations of it because you should know about the maintenance and the expectations before you do something like that but I just kind of comb through my brows to make sure any foundation or powder is out of there and then I go into a light contour and I'm currently using and have been using the tinted blur stick from nude sticks now Again, if you're from my OG beauty guru days, you know how much I fell in love with nude sticks and the versatility of their products and the whole mindset behind nude sticks products. And it's cool to see how far they've come. Blush these days, there's so many blushes I really enjoy. The first one is, I know everyone's talking about this, this is the newest one to my blush collection. This is the e.l.f. blush, and it's in Dusty Rose. We're talking the perfect amount of pigment. I actually like these more than the Rare Beauty ones. I know everybody loves the Rare Beauty. They're so pigmented, but they're almost so pigmented, they're difficult to work with at times, and the colors aren't very forgiving. Whereas the e.l.f. one blends like a dream. It blends a little bit easier. It's still pigmented, but in a more workable way. So I love this one. I love my Euphoria color changing blush oil. This is my second or third bottle. So good. This I'll use with no makeup makeup days. And I also really love the But Tonight, the brownier brush, blush, which I'll like use underneath to give me more of a dimension on my cheeks. I used to use these two all the time. I would say all summer it was these two. Where's my other blush? Oh, I put it away because I wanted to do an unboxing, but I've been using Say blushes for over a year in chili, or is it spicy? I think the name is spicy. And then they sent me all 
of their new shades plus the OG shades. Did in here because I was gonna do an unboxing, but chili or no spicy was the OG one I originally purchased and I love it. It's got such a beautiful brownie tone to it. Their blushes are just some of my favorite. Like this one I've been wearing a lot. It's called Sweets. My top fell in there though, but I was still dabbing it on. It's a really pretty cool tone pink. So if you're looking for like a jelly textured blush, I highly recommend the Say One. Rosy Baby, I think is their newer shade. It's a cool tone fuchsia. I love that they sent me all of these because I'm always at Sephora and they're always sold out at my Sephora. I already know I love the formulas of these Say blushes. I just don't know which color I want to play with at times. Oh, look at that. They're just really blendable and beautiful and dreamy texture and wear really lovely on the skin. I also started placing my blush a little bit more underneath my eyes. I feel like it gives me more of a youthful look. Love that wash of color and it has like a nice natural glow and dew. Something else I really love is the Tower 28 Blush Dumpling Hour, which I was scared when this showed up. I was like, I'm all for the collab, the Panda 4, Kung Fu Panda 4 and Tower 28 collab, all for it. But I was like, how am I supposed to wear this red? I've been wearing this all January and February since I got it. And it's so blendable. I, if you've seen me on socials, this is what I'm wearing. It's so beautiful. I love Tower 28. You can build it up to more of a intense red, but I never thought I would love red blush and I absolutely love it. It looks gorgeous. For highlight, if I'm going to do it, I just use some of my Chanel Balm which Chris actually found for me at an airport kiosk, Chanel kiosk, because it's sold out everywhere. I love, love that natural glow. Most days I'll just rub some of my blush or my contour into my eye crease to give it a little dimension or I won't do anything. However, if I'm gonna do eyes, I've been really loving these Make Multi Chromatic Metal Reflecting Eyeshadow in quartz which is a beautiful brownie shade and glaze which is this beautiful beautiful shimmer or i'll go in with merit's mid-century solo shadow this is also one of my favorites lately it reminds me of the mac pots mac pots paint pots that everybody used to go crazy for in like 2014 so what i'll do with these make chromatic eyeshadows is i'll actually go in with glaze first and i'll put it all over the lid because they're chromatic they really add a lot of life and depth to the eye you can also intensify it based on the brush you're using but i want something very like wash of color so that's glaze and it just brightens up my eyes but what i like to do is also go in with quartz it's a little bit more of a brownie shade and i just brush it on the outer parts of my eyes to give it a little more oomph. And if I'm not feeling chromatic, I'll just do the Merit Mid-Century Solo Shadows. Those are beautiful. Some of my other favorite ones are from Ilia. These are very like versatile, one and done, easy to use. The lips, I'm always into something that's gonna last all day. So I either use a lip liner and then I'll go in with this Wonder Skin Lip Tint, which seriously lasts like crazy. But if I'm not planning on being out all day and I want to play around with different lips, one of my favorite new launches is from Tower 28. There's Lip Softies. Dolce de Leche is the one that's in my purse right now, which is downstairs. It's the most perfect nude lip balm that adds life versus death to my face. I'll be using that throughout the day. It lives in my purse. It will not leave my purse because I love, love, love it. I've also been really enjoying these... Dibs lip glosses and there's a bunch of different shades and they're really really light and not sticky So let's do this one is in strawberry summer But I just do a little bit like a tiny tiny little bit of gloss on the lips as long as it's not sticky i can't stand sticky so those are all of the products i've really really been loving for months at this point if not longer ideally everything i shared with you is at least a year old except for this merit shadow and the chromatic shadows because they are newer launches and before i got these i was just using whatever i was using on my cheeks on my eyes that's how minimal i've become when it comes to makeup which is also why 
I don't post dedicated beauty content anymore on my dedicated beauty channel. My lifestyle is just changed so much. Else I really have been enjoying in the blush world, if you're looking for a good blush, are the NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush. And I really loved the shade Argon. Really been loving this one for a while. It's a nice deeper tone light blush. This blush though, the NARS Afterglow Blush, I feel like it wears off a little bit quicker. So at the end of the night, I'm like, I swear I was wearing more blush than that. I feel like it was like the first thing to go on my face. I don't mind it. I like my face to look like it's lived its day. I don't need to look perfect all day. I'm good. I'm, I'm ready for bed. And then let me just show you something else that's newer to my makeup arsenal that I have been enjoying, which is this Dibs Spice Gal Baked Duo Blush. I like using this as a blush topper. It's very shimmery. But I find when I put this baked blush on top as a blush topper, it does allow my blush to stay a little longer. This is newer in my life. I will update if I keep reaching for it, obviously. But everything else I've been raving about, I reach for a lot. If you guys have any questions or if you want like a full detailed makeup tour of how my makeup collection went from an entire dedicated beauty room to one vanity. I feel like I could still get rid of a lot of stuff but I have trouble letting go of things especially when I enjoyed it at some point in my life but I feel like I could let a lot more go. So should we do a makeup declutter? or a makeup tour, let me know in the comments. If I sound raspy, it's because I am. My voice is shot. I teach eight weekly classes in group fitness. So I do have a mic, but I find myself projecting quite a bit. So when my allergies act up, my voice starts to sound huskier and huskier throughout the week. And this is the end of my week. Yes, I sound very raspy. I kind of like it, but I also am like struggling a little bit. If you've been sticking with me till this end of the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. I am going to be uploading two videos here every week, a Tester Tuesday and a Friday lifestyle video, most likely a vlog or some sort of DIY situation that I am got myself into on Fridays. My main love is my blog where I share with you my recipes, my, my, my mindfulness, my thoughts of becoming a mother and my motherhood journey. And if you sign up for my newsletter, I am bringing back monthly giveaways. So I still am sent quite a bit of product that I will just never get through. And I asked you guys last year, if you prefer me to do giveaways where I just give you a gift card or send you a box of goodies, you guys actually voted for a box of goodies. I will continue that tradition of monthly giveaways over on my newsletter that you can sign up for on the blog. I don't spam you. I only email you maybe every other week, maybe once a week if that. I select winners through my newsletter to be gifted a box of beauty goodies or other fun stuff. And it's usually at least a couple hundred dollars, if not thousands, in a box that I could shove full of and I ship that to you. If you want the opportunity for that, there's not a lot of entries. I think every month there's maybe anywhere between 200 to 500 entries depending on the month, depending on how many people enter. Newsletter is maybe 2,000 people, and then through that, I let you guys know what the giveaway is that month, and then people will enter if they want it. Not a lot of people enter. There's a really high likelihood you'll win, and I like that because I feel like it's those people who are really a part of this community I'm building, really supporting my content, that are getting these opportunities to win these prizes and these giveaways. But anyways, so that's how I run my giveaways. I am hoping to do more and more as I rebuild my blog and rebuild this channel, because obviously the higher the numbers, the more brands want to work with me, and whenever they want to work with me, I always try to find a way for us to give to my audience beyond just working together in an ad sense or a product placement sense. I love communicating with you guys daily over on IG as well as TikTok, so make sure you follow me over there if you're on there. If not, I can talk to you through my newsletter or through here. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my Friday video. Bye!